part three 21 personal secrets that has helped me in the prophetic in lesson one part one we spoke about the secret of making the voice of the holy spirit the strongest voice in my life and that's one of the secrets that has helped me if you are going to become um, a voice of revelation a credible voice of revelation you cannot get that done without having an intimate relationship with the holy spirit and without pleasing value on his voice in part two we um, ended by talking about the secret of operating in love and love i said is the nature of god and in order for you to be able to hear the voice of god you need to have to have god's nature it is god's nature that gives you access into god's voice you cannot understand the language of a dog until you become a dog in the same way you will never understand the language of god until you become a god and love brings us to the nature of god god is not anointed he's not power even though he's powerful but god is love in lesson one past three we are starting with number number 13 number 13 um, the 13th secret that has helped me in the prophetic is the secret of paying the price for the prophetic paying the price for the prophetic there is a price to pay for every treasure from heaven when it even comes to salvation salvation is free but there is a price to pay jesus christ paid for salvation with his life and even though the life the, even though the price has been paid already until you acknowledge and confess and embrace him as your lord and your personal savior you will not be born again so that is the price when it come to every treasure of heaven there is a price to pay i have learned how to pay the price for the prophetic the price of patience because a baby of one month old will not start speaking as a matter of fact when you give birth to a child and the same day you give birth to the child your child starts speaking your native language you will be surprised you will even run away from that child so a lot of people who want to be used as prophetic vessels want to get to a certain depth a certain dimension without paying the price there is a price of patience to pay a price that whatever god has started to do with you will take process will take time there is a price of holiness to pay there is a price of sacrificing your will so that his will will lead. There is a price of sacrificing your natural ambition, your natural desire, the things you want to do. There is a price of sacrificing the flesh. There is a price of op operating in holiness. There is a price of staying in his presence. There are different types of price you have to pay for the prophetic. There is a price of prayer and fasting. There is a price of always being attentive to what he's saying and saying what he's saying even when it's not making sense. In Isaiah 55 verse 1, the Bible says, Oh, everyone that tested, come ye to the waters, and ye that have no money, come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price now understand that when you test and there is water you are supposed to go to the waters now our the price we are paying is to locate the source of the prophetic and do everything that it requires for us to receive the anointing from him and so this thing that we are talking about you cannot buy it with money you can't buy it with Nara, you can't buy it with Yen, you can't buy it with dollars, you can't buy it with CD, you can't buy it with pounds. There is a price to pay. 
Now Elisha walked with Elijah for a long time. Now in 2 Kings 2 verse 9, And it came to pass when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. So there is a price of asking. There is a price of going to God to ask the Lord anoint me. Lord use me in the prophetic. There is a price. And when Elisha asked Elijah, when Elijah asked Elisha, Elisha responded, give me a double portion of your spirit. Verse 10. And he said, that was a hard thing. So the anointing, the prophetic anointing is a hard thing, but not an impossible thing. The prophetic anointing is a hard thing, but not an impossible thing. Number 14, secret number 14, the secret of genuine hunger and desperate desire for the prophetic. The secret of genuine hunger and desperate desire for the prophetic. I have had a lot of people who tell me that they really want God to use them. But you find out that their hunger for the prophetic is not genuine. You need to have a genuine hunger for what you are looking for. A genuine hunger and a desperate desire. This is one of the secrets that transformed my life around. Genuine hunger and desperate desire for the prophetic. 1 Corinthians 14, 39 says, Wherefore, brethren, covert to prophesy, covert to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. You need to covert to prophesy. 1 Corinthians 14, 1 says, 1 Corinthians 14, 1 says, Follow up the charity, and desire spiritual gift but rather that ye may prophesy so there must be a genuine hunger and a desperate desire not desire but desperate desire when someone truly wants something it will be seen in what the person says it will be seen in the person's action it will be seen in where the person goes it will be seen in his association it will be seen in the books he reads so now that you are on this platform it is a sign you have a genuine hunger and a desperate desire but it is not enough i mean i remember those days when i was desired for the prophetic there was no prophetic conference i wasn't part of because I was desiring for when number 15 the secret of placing value on the prophetic the amplified renders first Corinthians 14 1 eagerly pursue and seek to acquire this love make it your aim your great quest and earnestly desire and cultivate the spiritual endowment gift especially that ye may prophesy interpret the divine will and purpose in inspired preaching and teaching you need to learn how to pursue and not just pursue eagerly pursue and earnestly desire and cultivate this spiritual endowment that means it is purposeful true value is seen in our pursuit you can't say that you value education when we are not doing anything to be educated you can't say that you value having a PhD and you decide you will not pursue it so our value is seen in our pursuit place great value on the prophetic i don't joke with the prophetic i place so much value i was told i can never make a woman pregnant but when the lord told me he was going to give me a child 
a baby girl to be precise i place value on that and i discarded every other thought number 16 the secret of dealing with personal weaknesses and secret sin and the sin that easily beset us the secret of dealing with personal weaknesses secret sin and the sin that easily beset us yes i as a prophet i have personal weaknesses i had secret sin in my life when i'm in front of the people they think everything is okay but i knew there were things i was struggling with i knew there were things i was believing god that i will be out of it and so this was one of my secrets now look at psalm 24 verse 1 downward the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein for he have founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods who shall ascend into the hill of the lord you is asking a question who can ascend into the gather into the hill into the place into the secret place of the lord who shall stand in his holy place the place where god dwells is full of holiness who can stand in his holy place he said he that have clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the lord and righteousness from the god of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O jacob now if you want god to use you deal with secret sin don't pretend i had personal weaknesses that were hindering my progress in the prophetic i had secret sin that was messing up with what god has put upon my life i had weights that i was dealing with it but i needed to find a way to fight and deal with this secret sin these secret weaknesses hebrews 12 1 wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with a great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us and let us run with patience the way that is set before us you want to become a mighty prophetic voice lay aside every weight i don't know the weight in your life lay it aside and the sin that you easily that easily beset us and then we can run with patience the way that is set before i have to deal with personal sin personal weaknesses the sin that easily beset me i can't trust you i've mentioned some of these sins but no, i can't trust you so let's take it like that 17 secret number 17 the secret of not being familiar with the ways of God the ways of God not being familiar with the ways of God not being familiar with the ways of God you know God have used me in some awesome ways but every time I, I, I find I get to a point when I think that I seem to know God then I come to a dimension and realize I don't even know him at all. And this makes me to seek him the more. This makes me to go after him the more. This makes me desire to be in his presence. I don't say that, oh God, I've used me yesterday, so today he will use me. I don't want to be familiar. God shows his act unto the children. Children celebrate act. But men, mature people, celebrate ways because when you get to know the ways of god you can command the act of god at will when you get to know the ways of god you can command his acts at will 
the secret of not being familiar with the ways of God. Mm. With the ways of God. I want to come to a realm that you will not be familiar no matter the depth through which God uses you you will not become familiar 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 number 18 the secret of seeking after him the secret of seeking after him i realize that a lot of people want the prophetic anointing the prophetic great the prophetic mantle but they don't want the giver of the mantle a lot of people want what god can give them but they don't want a relationship with god but i find out that when you seek god then he can give you every other thing in john 4 23 24 the bible said but the how our cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the lord seeketh such to worship him god is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth seek god number 19 the secret of securing a platform for connection through prayer and fasting one of the things that have helped me is how to secure a platform where i can entertain divinity a platform where i can have access to divinity a platform where i can have an intercourse and interaction with divinity and i realized that one of the easiest platform is the platform of prayer and fasting in act 10 verse 1 to 3 the bible said there was a certain man in Caesarea called cornelius a centurion of the man called the italian band a devout man and one that feared god with all his house which gave much arms to the people and prayed to god always he saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of god coming into him and saying to him i realize that whenever humanity connect to god in prayer divinity respond to humanity with prophecy whenever humanity connects to divinity in prayer divinity respond with revelation so prayer becomes one of the platform of connecting contacting and collecting divine data divine information to transform humanity when you enter the school of prayer you will graduate with a degree of revelation you cannot be a prayer addict who pray to god who connect to god and you cannot collect things from divinity that relate to things on the humanistic sphere it can never happen cornelius connected to god through prayer and see so when and he saw evidently prayer and see so open up the dimension of the supernatural to cornelius number 20 the secret of honoring those who have gone ahead of me i realize that no matter how anointed i am there are people that god called them many years ago who have done what i'm doing when i meet him i don't compete with them i honor them I am I am a lot of prophets on my nation in my nation Ghana. I mean some of them when God called them I was not even born again. So many of them that I can't mention their name. Number 21, the secret of sowing into prophetic vessels. 
one of the secrets that has helped me is when I, 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 I recognize a strange prophetic vessel I learn how to tap into it by sowing specific seed to activate certain miracles you remember the woman at, at, at Zarafat I mean she was going to gather stick to die and this woman when Elijah the prophet said give me your food to it the woman was able to release that seed into the life of Elijah and she benefited from the prophetic um you you, you see you see um, um, um the woman at second case of the four verse eight then was she built for the prophet and when she built for the prophet she sowed into the prophet and received a child you see elisha elisha said spent her time sowing his life sowing his time sowing his talent sowing his connection his resources into the ministry of elijah he received a prophetic mantle you see the apostles they left everything and they sold their life into the ministry of jesus they began being used of god in a strange way number 22 the secret of absolute obedience no i'm just adding one or two to wait for you the secret of absolute obedience many people want to pray in the prophetic but they don't want to attend the school of obedience and not just obedience absolute obedience the lord said to me since uh, um, um, 13 years ago don't travel outside africa for 16 years and for 13 years i've never stepped outside africa and i get a lot of people saying man of god you know that you are wasting your time why don't you uh, 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 absolute obedience job job 6 36 11. if they obey and serve him they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure Obey him. When obey God will start using you. He will use you. 23. The secret of prophetic impartation. Deuteronomy 34 9. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel here came unto him. And did as the Lord commanded Moses. The Lord bless you. The, the rest of the lessons will come. We have a lot to treat.